in my experiments the past days, I was busy again with oscillators. Uh, I'm more or less fond of oscillators <coughs> that are many on my YouTube channel. Anyway, I don't want to pay much attention to these two circuits. They are again made with the chip, the NA5532P. And I published them only, say, for the archive. Uh, they are not ideal, and I will tell more about it. Uh, but the interesting part is perhaps that we here have a square wave oscillator and here a filter that changes the waveform from a square wave to a sine wave. And here we have two extra um, um, transistors that do their job. This one is amplifying and this one is also amplifying and I've uh, talked about this circuit a few days ago telling that this was the, the most bare uh, grounded emitter stage that you can use and yes I've used it here and here is that other grounded emitter stage that was in the same video and I will give the link. So this is also say a kind of beginner circuit. Uh, we know of course that when you go to Ali, AliExpress you can buy a function generator for a very very low amount of euros or dollars and this is more or less fun for me and say uh, perhaps it's interesting that's why I name it experimental so this is the circuit that is now on my uh, workbench this is it so What does this circuit bring? Here is that NA chip. Here is, say, CX, that's this capacitor. That is this capacitor in the schematic. Say from the output to the input. But at the same time, I found that also this capacitor plays an important role. And this capacitor is responsible for the fact that you cannot go higher than next nine kilo cycles in this case anyway with the other schematic perhaps that is somewhat different but anyway now we are on 9.6 um, kilohertz this is the waveform and I had to set the amplification here to its absolute maximum and the, the idea of this circuit is that when you uh, drive up the uh, amplification you get to a square wave but it only works on the low frequencies and here is what happens 1 microfarad 257 hertz 12 volt out and a square wave but on 10 nanofarad that's a big factor smaller it only gives out a sine wave. So, this is the highest frequency. The output level is not very high. Like I say here, one volt AC approximately, anyway. So let's see what happens when we turn this potentiometer here. That is this potentiometer in the circuit on that high frequency. Signal disappears. Anyway, but when we connect the one microfarad cap here, we have an enormous fierce square wave on 257 hertz. So that's why I name it experimental. You can do your own experiments. And when I turn that potentiometer now here, that means that we set the amplification of that in first, uh, in fact, third stage. Uh, we can change it 
to a distorted distorted sine wave. So that's also the reason why I name it an experiment. Now I take for CX 10 nanofarad. Hope that it succeeds. Of course, all is experimental. Will it work? Let's see. I think. Yeah, well, here it is. This is it. 10 nanofarad. Yeah, we are on 6.29 kilohertz. There's some broadening of the the waveform. I um, cured it a little bit as much as possible with this this resistor here, 33k. The schematic again. Now it is. This is say the second schematic. And this was the first schematic. Uh, of my earlier experiments. I cannot demo it because of the simple fact that it is no longer uh, there. This is an elaboration. And uh, the question is always is this better compared to the earlier schematic? Well, I don't know. This is experimental and meant for uh, hobbyists that like to do experiments. Thanks for watching. Don't want to make this video too long. Here we have the same situation. A square wave oscillator that is combined with a filter that changes the square wave into a sine wave. And when you give um, say when you give a sine wave a too high amplification, we get to the clipping effect, and that means that sine waves are changed into square waves again. So when you compare both circuits, you will see that many components are the same. Anyway, thanks for watching again. It can be useful for all kinds of experiments.